make? Would you like to make a good point yourself? Well, I mean, I try. I think Harvard's president said it best when she said, ask not what your country can do for you. <laughs> what you can do for your country. And she's right. She's right. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. OK, here's the problem with DEI. For real, if you want to know the reason businesses are walking away from it is it's also crushing their bottom line from this standpoint. It takes the focus away from what actually makes companies profitable. If you're a hamburger company, you make money selling hamburgers. You don't make money catering, catering to these also social justice struggles on the side. I think Disney learned this the hardest. Disney is in the business of placating parents and kids who want to go on vacation. And as they quickly found out, no kid is waiting in line three hours to ride Peter Pan sexual. OK, they wanted Peter Pan. <laughs> they wanted regular everyday life. Disney's business was not social justice. And that's why you see Iger trying to backtrack. So I think that's the long term solution is if you wanted to help, you go back to Mad Men. Remember Mad Men where they catered to the customer's preferences? DEI is Mad Them. They took Don Draper, made him Dawn Draper, and all the customers are miserable because they're not getting what they want. And see him. I'm Jimmy that's Fallon. Amazing. Don't worry about it. You don't need to know. The impact of diversity, equity, and inclusion, DEI, initiatives on business profitability arguing that companies should prioritize meeting customer preferences over societal justice endeavors. Using Disney's challenges as an example, the critique suggests that focusing on social issues can negatively affect a company's bottom line and client satisfaction. It highlights the potential conflict between a company's corporate identity and consumer desires, emphasizing the importance of authenticity in building strong business-customer relationships the central message cautions against prioritizing social justice initiatives at the expense of aligning with consumer preferences for sustained corporate success. What do you think?